Hi right, guys, welcome in for episode 10 of the Final Fantasy 16 series. After all that fighting, we see Sid pass, so Clive and Jill are on their own. Five years later, we're heading back to Martha's Rest, so let's get started. Damn blighty bilge. <laughs> Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. <laughs> the lake water this doesn't me every day. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. And this unless you've got Kate some grand day. scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, <laughs> that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. I suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. <laughs> Look at bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. What? Alright. Sure. Of course, Obelus. We'll have them. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, well I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the oh, dead. We're gonna have to travel. Now, well, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pictures of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest. That's for certain. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. All right. Green. Okay, yeah, we are, wait, we are traveling. Uh, we'll probably have to come back though. I was gonna say, oh, it's on the way, but it's definitely not. Oh, just kidding. Can I just? <laughs> Why did they let me do that? <laughs> I thought they were gonna like make me die or something. The forest, I said. <laughs> Another one. Wait, what the heck? I don't know how to do that to multiple things. I still don't really understand. Look at them. Oh, that's not the fire. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Wait, what? They're not dead? <laughs> That's so extra. <laughs> wow, Melanie. What's up, Aaron? How are we doing today? <laughs> I can't imagine Herbalist needing any more than this. Time to head out. That was Okay. That was it? Wow. That was super fast. We're like extra overpowered. Oh, I got a lot of, um, a lot of points that we can spend. Uh, ability points or whatever. We should do that before we get into anything crazy. I can't believe Caden sent that person here. <laughs> Finish with that log. Open so back, Sid. All right. Well, did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. Ugh. Reeks like a shock <laughs> of those arse. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. 
Argo. <laughs> so your boat has a name. I didn't know. Yeah. Same as me old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the flight <laughs> came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. Let's go. We got like 10 pennies. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. Now let's get on the road. Martha's rest. Oh yeah, didn't they say something was wrong with Martha? I don't remember what, but they said something was wrong with her. What happened here? Oh god. Come on. We need to find the others. For now, I reckon. Let's get you to a physical. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. In I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Normally, I'm a large Diet Coke light ice person, but we were on a breakfast kick, okay? We had the sausage egg sandwiches, right? I had to get my extremely aggressive coffee. Like, literally, who drinks this much coffee? This is some spooky the music. Right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. That's a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Oi, look sharp! Where the heck? <laughs> Perfect amount of coal? No, it is not. That's nasty. Like, I can't express how nasty that is. You need ice. But the best ice is like those Look, little cube ice. Oh, this Martha. is Martha. Are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. Mm -hmm. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds what poor souls turned on the imperials distracted them long enough for that's to crazy get away. then they may still be alive martha do you think you can make it back to the inn <laughs> all is there with the other curse breakers i think so thank you clive poor martha she looks not well. <laughs> um, Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? What is that supposed to mean? One order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire. There might still be someone inside. <laughs> no. Damn it. <laughs> I thought you lot were all spent. <gasps> Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. Aren't turned? These two aren't turned. What does that mean? That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. 
Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night. Why are they acting like they're about to be hard to fight? Dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Yeah. This won't take long. <laughs> nah, this is gonna be easy. Whoa, that was kinda lit. I don't even know what I just did. I kind of don't like that one because it makes them like super separated. Two? Look how easy, I told you. I told you. Not even wearing armor, that's what I'm saying. They gave us this new outfit and the old outfit was like a big, like, armored out thing, you know? And now they gave us this and I just, I don't understand. Maybe I can change it, I don't know. But to me, it doesn't really make sense. Why am I wearing this random, you know, every day? Sure, I guess. That's fine, but like we're going into battles in just clothes. <laughs> oh, Found her. that's so aggressive. The abbot. Dang. They all got messed up. The bearers died protecting him. Hmm. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive. He's breathing. He's breathing. Oh. <laughs> Not the guy on the ground. <laughs> We're friends of Martha. I was like, how? <laughs> have to help. Are the Imperials mm. dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> he is two seconds from turning into stone. The black shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be safe. Unless this we is like some sad, her. spooky. Oh, spooky Come tone. To beg his aid. And tell her. This wasn't her fault. I. I shall. Jim! Where are you? Jim! In here! We found a survivor! Who's that? Clive. Wait, you die? Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds later? <laughs> okay. Rip. Oh, this guy. We've laid the abbot to rest. But the bears. Makes you nervous? I didn't need to die like really? this. Really? It was my first Dark Souls no, they game. Didn't. But it was their choice. And I really liked they it. They knew the fate that awaited them. I didn't know what I was doing. On their terms, <laughs> like, fighting for at those all. Who fought for them. I needed a well, lot of they help. From their beds. But they I liked it. It was a challenge. The could escape. I've gathered the it was a little remains. frustrating though, of course. We I would spend like to the hours... There's a drawbridge on a from single there. boss. Redux jump. I could spend like a the whole stream on one or if two. The other was still with us. He'd <laughs> taken the dust himself and perform the casting. 
I'll get someone to. I know, right? He had just enough that. time to say what he had to say. <laughs> Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Wait, we have a quest. Okay. Um. Sir, uh, perform the casting and return to Martha's rest. Wait, make for Ridox jump. Why? Oh, I'm on the purple one. Ooh, I never noticed the little like pictures up top. What is that? Hello? Why aren't you letting me? Oh. What? <laughs> what the heck? What just happened? What? Notori <laughs> Notorious marks. Every now and then, Clive may encounter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks can earn him not only renown, renown, but also rare materials that may be used to craft new gear. I'm supposed to fight you? You're too far away from me. He just ate me, bro. What is going on? What on earth? Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. Oh, okay. Dude, I'm confused. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Bruh. I can't even get to you. Oh my god. Every time. Bro, you're just gonna do the same thing every time? Ah! You ate me, dude. doing anything oh okay let's go I gotta get Torval in on this after this uh, oh crap that was too fast <laughs> too fast what the great oh god Oh god. Oh lord. Okay. Ah! You idiot! Don't understand this one. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Oh, crap. Oh, I wasn't close. Uh -huh. Ooh, let's go. Oh. 
Oh. Oh god! Jesus. He's doing the most. <laughs> I'm gonna get trapped. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> what? He's almost done. I just need this one. Oh god, move! Hold on a minute. Why are you not dead? Make it make sense. Let's go. Finally. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> that must be the bridge. I'm so annoying because I'm literally like I like the fire the most. Typical. <laughs> Oops. What? So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. All right. Well, it's pretty far away. Oh, the Lord, I was like, we're running this whole way. Okay. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool right. I am. The rumors Five years started later? Moons ago of black I was kinda... devils descending on villages okay. in the dead of I almost said surprise and shock at the same time. Bearers. Um, I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the I was kind of surprised that they did a but time jump. A story meant to make folk like, think twice about lending a hand to what, a fugitive Like, what the heck happened in five I years? I don't know you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. Oh yeah, his mom. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. <laughs> right now, I need swords and mm. men to wield them, preferably big ones. Those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people. They're in for a rude awakening. Yeah, Martha. Oh, before I forget, 
stole us from Artoland right. just before you arrived. He asked like, me to tell like you that nothing returned. crazy happened then in five well. years then. It was just kind of... Will you be all right here, Martha? I don't, don't understand. Like, they were wish. just fighting people No need. For five I'll be years? ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young coast breakers. Let's go. Return to the hideaway? Oh yeah, this was the main thing that we were doing. Okay, perfect, because I'm going to check if we can like upgrade stuff. Hi, seller. Mandy, with that sword of yours. Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? <laughs> the big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. You're doing a chocobo. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. <laughs> chocobos, um. Why? They saved quest? me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were, too. And now they're back. Looking to settle <laughs> the score. Go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help, go and help the chocobos. Go and help the flock of chocobos. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. There's a good lad. Where can mm, I find this? This would be chocobos? me. I'd be I standing around like across we the way to save yonder. the chocobos. The rotten scoundrels were driving <laughs> the poor things towards the old dark. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock. You hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird. A pluckier in all the world. bird. She's a hero to us locals. What does that mean? Don't worry. You'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. And give those no good bastards a hiding from me. <laughs> the white winged wonder. Off we go. Wow. Wow. I'm so happy. Wait. They're in trouble. Where am I going? Up here? Oh. Oh. No. We got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been back. Oh, I think that's business. what the update was that I updated yesterday. Someone will pay good coin that would make sense. To mount your head on their wall. No. Uh, they won't. Ooh. Uh, and why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Ah. It's off. Or best. <laughs> he said that goofy. How about we hurt you Piss both? Off. All right then. But don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. I hit nobody. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, I'm gonna get stuck in the corner. Let's go. Okay. You really had to do that, buddy. Look, they're poachers too. This is so Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> oh my god, hello? Whoa! Who are you? No! Oh my god. I was trying to aim it at the big guy. Let's go. Ah! What the? Ooh, got him good. 
dude looks cool. Cool, this guy? This guy or the main guy? Kidding. Oh, I wasn't even close to him. Wait. Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh, I thought he was gonna hit me. I got scared. Torgo, no! Oh! Oh, I'm gonna die. I need to buy potions when we get back. Ah. Oh! I thought he hit me. Oh my god, they're making so many noises. Do you hear the chocolate in the background? <laughs> they're like screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Ah, I was like, I'm gonna get hit. Mm, that's almost done. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Safe now. <laughs> White heart, I presume. They're so cute. Do you know her boy? <laughs> that scar. It couldn't be. What? <gasps> Oh. Hmm. It is you. You survived. Hmm. And you found yourself <laughs> a flock. They said we're here too. Oi! He is it over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, well, you sorted the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Aww. Well, I'll be. So, so anyway, Never I've known them my to whole think life. Our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> hmm. Bird like her would have cost a princely <laughs> sum. You born a lord or something? Well. I, um... Oh no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. No matter who you are, you done right by me. <laughs> what is it, girl? I'm so annoying because I read she that as K -K 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 -W. Back, I <laughs> Why is that how it's spelled? Told you, and it seems our pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Hmm. Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. <laughs> I know, right? It's so similar to Hogwarts right now. Everything that's going on. How's, how's it going?
They're gonna let me just take it? They have an eye patch? Doesn't she cut uh -huh. some figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old white heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry. We'll get along just fine without her. What does this We're mean? White heart. We don't have to, like, run? We're gonna be able to off. go on our chalk boat? You have fun traveling with your master now. <laughs> I like the little wiggle. You seem awful so familiar cute. now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That oh, because he there. doesn't have the... Must have been my double. The scar oh, anymore? Must have been, eh? <laughs> now that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. What? <laughs> Cute little wiggle. Um... From your New York trip? How long were you in New York? What did you do there? I've been to... Ooh, we got to 25. Rain... Oh! No, thank you. What does rain in me? What does that mean? Like, slow down? Huh. Straight That's home pretty now. cool. Can it fly? No. No flying. Whoa, they just disappear? All right, <laughs> they're just gone. Okay, let's go to the hideaway. I'm gonna like upgrade some stuff if they got anything for me to upgrade with. Gav is here. I hear there's trouble. Oh yeah, it's like I keep forgetting. It's like the new, but none of the curse breakers the new hideaway. They'll be fine. Sid wouldn't be here. Ah, Clive! How oh, I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. I cut everybody else's, like, normal... Like light clothing, Clive sure. is like. You remember how quick the empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head, and how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't wow. think to do it first. Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly, the promise of unblighted land and the world supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. And now the Republic's finally decided to follow really suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. You'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. After five years, they're like, all right, Four Mother it's Crystals time. remain in storm and ash. <laughs> I Drake's don't know breath, what we were doing in know. between. Drake's fang in Dalmechia. Drake's spine in Walud. Why are they called and this? Drake's tail <laughs> here in the crystalline dominion. <laughs> With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And 
if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. <laughs> there is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron His Rosfield. uncle? Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. He didn't know that? This whole time. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> I've been seeing tweets about Clive. Probably in this era, and they're like, what's stopping men from looking like this? These guys. <gasps> it's the. What are these called? What are these called? <sighs> I can't remember. Moogles, right? That's what they're called. Look at me. This place looks cooler than the original. I like this, this random I'm, green area. I uh, was open to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, oh. you see, after she... Should well, I go read them? After she died, and now the fruit's <laughs> finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the curse breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. Hmm, take the fruit to the curse breakers. It'd be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. I feel like that would Thank be just you. so tragic. If I really was like spot for that lot too busy. busy. Sorry. And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else be. gets some. Here you go, Martell apples. They're called in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. What? You talking to the tree? <laughs> All right, last one. Wait, I don't know what this means. Clive. Uh. What do you want? I don't know what this means. What? Did... <sighs> you really just play with my Man. emotions, sir. <laughs> I don't understand. Off limits. I don't know what I did wrong. <gasps> it's Sharon. Wait, Sharon. Karen. Well, don't just stop. <laughs> I was like, wait, her name is Sharon. I forgot. All right. Go on then. Dude, I can't buy anything. Is that all? Ugh. Pain. That's not what I was trying to do. All right. Well, let's look at these really quick. Let me change the map. Okay. Abilities. Wow. Look how much I have. Mm. I don't know. Or train. Tor oh my god, I can't talk. A tornado. Hmm, I kind of like this one. Oh, 
Uh, only have. Let's just do this. And then. Okay, I can't do any of those. Just can't, can't do any of these. Um, where would these like show though? Cause I have like, I do square and triangle. I don't know where I would find these like in the middle of a fight. Um, I think I'll just, I think we'll save the rest maybe. How do I get out of here? I actually don't know how to leave. Is this a door? Clive's chambers. Wait, no, we can't. Oh my god. <laughs> how do I get down? Oh, I think I did this last time. <laughs> it's literally, <laughs> it's literally right here. I hear there's trouble. Okay, we'll go look at them before we go to Cry Cliff. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martel. Why do his eyes look scary? Do you see his eyes right now? <laughs> Why do they look like that? They look scary. Here's some apples. He looks like he has Hannah Montana blue eyes right now. <laughs> Weren't she the girls in the furrows? Cool she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more wow. than people. Don't hate. I am brave as a bane. Hating on plant lovers. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Oh, we're going to multiple. A gift from the backyard. Well, they're for your service. Bumping music. Here's an apple. Oh, apples. Blimey, these take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Uh, old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? <laughs> What? Mm -hmm. These aren't Martells, are they? He said, I like apples. I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the dead ones. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clive, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? Okay, why don't you go ask him? You. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, Does Sid, like, and, uh, stand for something? Give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? Because everybody's the the calling him Sid. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's the regards. Mm. The curse breakers send their thanks. And their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her. After all these years, I suppose she was very kind, even to a tongue-tied lummox like me. Hmm. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? die? <laughs> okay, then. She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. On motion When she boy? died, I named a sapling after her. <laughs> and now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. 
I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. I don't By get way, why. Otto's expecting what? some of your crop. I, I truly don't understand the appeal of it. I wouldn't mind it. some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course it's like not. It's insane I'll, to me I'll that people can both well provided for. process that. But maybe, they like maybe if you weren't watching, it's such wonderful? a large I'd say it's about screen, it wouldn't be so bad. Siblings, but for me, it's like, my god. It's way too much. I need it all blur off. God of War was crazy. The camera was all over the place. I instantly was like, oh, no, <laughs> this is going to be bad. Up. <laughs> oh, oh, up time. Go ahead. <laughs> I was like, you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't, he didn't seem pleased. What, do you want to come with? eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kuka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Iron Home. For what? Is this like her background, like where she was? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, Aww. I must do the same. We'll face it together then. To the end. I really like them as characters together too. And Torgo, like come on. Great great uh I'm a sub pair. Great match. Great trio. <laughs> Bloodlines. Alright, let me do you think your mother's reach oh, extends? Crap. Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. Ew. Mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. <laughs> Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists. So grumpy. Jill, <laughs> look. Oh no. Rosaria. Are they gonna hurt must this be man? Cleansed of the stain which no. befalls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. It <laughs> would be a pity to make examples of you all. No, I forgot if they hurt full. this man. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. Okay. Good. I'm scared. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There's barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. This is so intense. Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. Oh. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, the Empire gets. Don't they just... Keep your ears open, eh? The black shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. <laughs> He said, I'm gonna get this money. Okay, those were just like not the Greetings, right ones. Friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers <laughs> who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. The heck? 
Why is I he speak mad? for the people of this village, <laughs> and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads hearing this and music our in the background. we are left alone. <laughs> I think it Some might call loud. it submission. But if it will spare my people the vice really wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pool. Oh, rip East Pool. Then we should be on our way. It's probably already going to be like that. You're back. These people live with a knife to their throats. No, it's too loud. I can't. In the mistaken yeah. belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know <laughs> who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are... The Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. Alright, we're going village to village right now. Port. I don't even know how to say this. Pour it. This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. Uh. This dude looks interesting. Ever since the Apollo trip, we've seen more and more of these. Oh wow, there's a lot. What do you think is waking them? The mother crystals. Oh wait, we haven't tried this. Oh wow. Oh wow, tornado is way cooler. <laughs> Yo, the tornado is funny. Okay, we're keeping the tornado. <laughs> Are they all just dead? Oh yeah, we're doing tornado. I have all the basic ones. I don't really mind. Oh! Hello? I did not notice this. Ew. Nasty spider looking person. Hey. Let's go. Okay. Nah, like look, he's one. Alright. Wow. That one was oh. oh. Let's go. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> He's just getting wrecked. This combination, the tornado and the lightning. <laughs> Crazy. Where did the stupid oh <laughs> Where did the box go? Okay. More of my mother's oh. men. Hey. I'm gonna get hit by the stupid birds or whatever. What is it? They're like little dragons. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. I was like, I don't even know where he went. Oh. 
It's funny because like some areas or like fences they whoa ah <gasps> uh, why did they do that? <laughs> we're just <laughs> we're gonna just skip that one. And still wet. Oh my god! They really just popped out of the ground. Oh. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are. The one in the back and still, <laughs> you would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these, our to swords dwell in we darkness? swear. Okay, Say I think I drank too much coffee now. I'm like really jittery. <laughs> I'm like so jittery right now. <laughs> but I'm like, hmm, I got this giant coffee. I should probably drink it. Oh god, I didn't mean to do this. I forgot that I had this. They're not even in it. <laughs> the one dude is just in there on his own. Like, hello? <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Oh! <laughs> I always forget what that one is. Wait! Oh, the dude is healing them? Which one? This guy? You gotta go. I'm just gonna take some damage real quick. I don't even know. Ooh! I don't remember which one it is. Stop! Did I get him? <laughs> I don't stop. I don't know which one it is. Oh my god. Oh, you're pissing me off. <laughs> Where's this stupid tornado? Tornado needs to come back. Ugh. <laughs> it's not even worth hurting them because we need to get this guy. But they're gonna come at me! Stop! Oh my god! Oh my god! I only got oh, wait, I didn't buy oh I didn't buy heals. I actually like really needed to do that. I forgot. Can I buy heals from like random other people? Or just at like the hideaway? Now y'all can suffer. what I'm looking at. Oh my god. Did I even get the guy that like heals him? Please tell me I did. One more. Wait, he's almost dead. Get him. Let's go. Water down. Too much liquid. <laughs> also, watered down coffee, I feel like tastes worse than nasty, straight black coffee, you know? I used to say coffee tasted like um, dirty water when I first tried it. But I had like, like I said, like straight Tell up black coffee my first time. Swift. That is not how you should you get started for? with coffee. Why you? We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <laughs> They await you in Ordeal. Guide.
Guardians of the Flame. Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. That took her so long to react to. How would I rate the game? Hmm, this is a hard question for me. I feel like I don't know how to rate games correctly. The last time I rated a game, I think. No, ah, I'm not sure people have asked me, but maybe the first time that somebody asked me to rate a game was The Last of Us 2, and I gave it a 7, and everybody was like, whoa, a 7. Um, <laughs> but then I changed my mind later. Um, I'm gonna give it a 9. I'm gonna give it a 9. I do really like it. I think the only thing for a lot of people is just the fact that it's maybe a bit easy for them. But I don't really know what the other Final Fantasies were like in terms of difficulty. I think it's really good. It's not that it's like challenging like too much. But I don't mind it. I'm not like breezing through it like the main fights. But just nice. It actually kind of reminds me of Ah Jesus. Um <laughs> It kind of reminds me of Um Star Wars Jedi games. Because I feel like when you're fighting the normal like troopers and stuff, it's pretty easy. But then some of the fights are actually hard. Okay. Okay. This was my mother's doing. <gasps> okay, we keep mentioning the mother. Can we see her again? Why would anyone? I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this. Oh, Clive. It does. I don't like work. I will learn what madness drives her, and I will end it. We should go. My hands. Are yes. <laughs> Ooh, I got That's one. The gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. Let us pass. My children are starving. Oh, what? <laughs> not the children. Voice friends, dogs, they are. What? I said, where were you, filth? Back to your stall. Cut you down where you stand. Just try it. No chance of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. Like the other way? Oh. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure, and the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned. As long as it is abandoned? 
Foreshadowing? Well, the good nervous. news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. Get inside. Why do I keep doing that? Oh, well I guess X is to jump. This is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. Not abandoned then. Oi! Visitors! Oh, there's multiple. Oh. Apologies. I kinda like we'll the show fits. ourselves out. Oh. Oh my god, they got like a hole. Oh lord. <laughs> Tornado time. Alright. Which one is it? This one? Everybody gets in the tornado. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so glad I got that. <laughs> that is so fast. <laughs> I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. Ooh. Wow. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. When you died. What? Now there are buddies? My lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Found He's got the red too. He is you. Who's this guy? Yes. I, wait, Sir Wade? Sir Wade. Can we get a flashback real quick? I don't know which one this is. <laughs> I think I kind of do, but. We can speak inside. No flashback for me. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us. Though we didn't go far. <laughs> I know, and they want me to remember. To form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. I think after. I know, though. I think I know which one is there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye, the foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. A.K.A. his you mom. Mean my mother. But it exactly. doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord. But in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So wait, 
The Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. Where are they going? This is Pass their the main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. Wait, uh, why are they called shields? So, so let us go with you. I'm just now remembering that the, the shields was Rosaria. like Clive was supposed to be <laughs> Joshua's shield. I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. We need some action. This coffee is... It's a I lot. This I'm done drinking the coffee. I don't need to finish it. And let's hope Sir <laughs> Wade has a good quartermaster. Speak with Wade. So like, they're like guarding the mom. If that makes sense. What is it you require? Uh, wait. Oh my god. Of course, my Look lord. how much money I have. Will that be all? Okay, it's a good As thing they're wish, here. My lord. Oh. Of course, my lord. As you wish, my lord. Will that be all? <laughs> Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill, and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was the plan. <laughs> I need some fighting. You I have too much energy. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Quest accepted. What? Okay. Party members? Throughout the main scenario, Clive will often be joined by various companions who are keen to lend their assistance. However, depending on Clive's destination, they may choose to remain behind. Okay. Why on earth does that mean? Who's staying behind? How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Can I travel here? Nope. Oh wait. Oh, they're probably gonna kick me off though. <laughs> hmm. 
Ugh. Oops. <laughs> I always want to do L2. Can I run through them? No. Come along now. <laughs> I thought I could like push them over. There they are. Oh. On your command, my lord. It'd be cool if I could like fight on this. <laughs> All right. Tornado's ready. We're going for the blue guy first what this is time. It now? I told you. We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields? Then come! I heard it fire you once. Along with your flame. For Azaria! For Azaria! <laughs> oh! Okay. Your uh, revolution ends here. Where's the spell guy? Swords, we swear. Okay, you're going down first. Oh, just kidding. I don't know where this man is. Man. <laughs> He's somewhere. He's somewhere. I don't know who I'm attacking. Somebody's getting wrecked. Did I get spell guy? Oh, hello. That's literally such a cheat. Are we done already? Bloody hell. Reinforcements from the Oh. Oh, okay. Tornado I think takes longer to like load though. Hello? Ah, I'm going to get hit. Oh. More. The Imperials aren't taking any Let's go. Are there more <laughs> dragon things? Ah! Hello? Oh, that was cheap. Super easy. A noble stand, <laughs> albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point that this land is in dire of need cleansing? of cleansing. I shouldn't be allowed to have um, subtitles on. I can't stop reading them. Let's go. Uh, uh, I'm all over 
choice. Oh! Oh! Really? Oh! Oh! Oh, he's getting me. Oh, what? What do you mean? Oh no. I always pick the worst time to do that. Huh. There's no one left to keep them occupied. We Wait, there's more. This. You mean finish him. Uh-oh. I like the little like Oh, the little move he does. I can't even see this man. Oh, he's still here. <gasps> I'm dying. Oh my god. <laughs> Why was I dying? Let's go. I thought there was more enemies. What happened to them? Torgo got him? I don't see any more. <sighs> Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud. My, <laughs> uh, Lord, perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. How has the mom not again? come after him? I often yeah. wonder if the nation is that what she's trying to do? Gone for good. I don't think she's a going after him though. I think she's going star. after we just to everybody the flame that was, in general. But for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. As we always have and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian Standard flies over Rosalith once more. So why he die? Think we should fall back to Port Azolda before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. Fall back? Fall back. I'm ready for more action. <laughs> okay. Hmm, I need to see if there's like something good I could buy with how much money I have. I don't want to waste it. I need a minute. How are you? And how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Since the beginning. Oh. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal Lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. It's the mark of the Guardians. Display it and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. Seal obtained? I shall wear burnt. it with pride. I think it said burnt blade. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. I'm Sir Tyler. Thank you, Sir Wade. 
If there is ever anything you need. Remember? I know. Go on now, my lord. Okay. Where are we going? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imperial province of Razira. This place looked really pretty. Y'all still here? What are you talking about? <laughs> How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. What? Were I to guess, <laughs> my uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. And means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Clive Rochefield <laughs> died long ago. What? They think that he's dead? And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. What? Why would they think that he's dead? You would mock me as well. <laughs> what? It is I, <laughs> Sir Cranmore of Camelot, loyal servant to her serene holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. <laughs> Aww. No. He really thought he was dead. Curse the infectious flax wench. Even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more. No, he's crying. <laughs> just, just a little bit. Bravo, Definitely Uncle. no tears. You're still the finest matter in the twins. <laughs> Poor Clive. Aww. My dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> it's kind of sad because Clive doesn't have any. Yeah, he doesn't have any family you really. Were fond of that scene from the Saint of the Sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. I have a favor to ask, Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle. You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Sit. He really thought he was the good plates baking. rather than So you are late <laughs> to one of her colleagues. That's so true. Did you? <laughs> Since becoming Vicery and Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosario's I feel like he side, wouldn't tell people that though. These atrocities I feel like he would keep low. that just between. Something's uh, changed. Sid. Like what? I don't know. This but girl whose name I don't really even know. Gone, even though we're literally her place. with her all the time. <laughs> For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town. And thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It 
It has been 20 years, Clive. 20 years. Nation, your father and your forefathers I forgot because they had is no more. They had the five year time jump. Otherwise, had they I have the been 13 of my years. That's crazy. All right. If it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive but the mom is telling knows the that he's alive. Whose authority? <clears throat> On your own, of course. <laughs> You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not uh, untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being They're targeting sent. you, Penguin. You were always such a good boy. But now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> right then. Who shall we pillage first? Rutherford? I feel like this dude's about to die. Maybe I'm just this will be fun. used to being morbid, but... They're doing a lot. I feel like they would just. Eh. He's dead. <laughs> Over there. Go on. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted. She'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I... I did so because I saw no other <laughs> choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned mm. it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. I had become a monster. <laughs> I'm playing it. <laughs> the emo. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, Oh I need yeah. To come to terms with my past. She didn't like do her own personal growth yet. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Wow, love them. <laughs> Thank you, Clive. 
I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Bendemir is long, and there is much to tell the others. Hmm. I don't know what we're doing now. Oh my god, they're bumping again. Here be monsters? Only the founder knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom. But Vivian can probably make an educated guess. I feel like we're just here. Back again, Lord Rosfield. I'm touched that you should find me such good company. <sighs> it is not your company, but your counsel that I seek on this occasion. Ah, <sighs> ever the charmer. What will it be today, then? The Iron Kingdom. I need to know what to expect. You'll soon be setting sail for Drake's breath, then, I take it. The mother crystal that rises from the boiling sea. There was a time when a true-blooded Rosarian had only to brave the waves to visit it. But then the Ironblood made their move. I like these little recaps. As Is it a recap? The Iron Kingdom rules yeah, over the islands it's like a recap. To the west of Storm. Or rather, its church does. But this is not the pragmatic approach to state religion employed by the Holy Empire to manipulate the masses. No, the Iron Kingdom is the literal embodiment of the crystalline orthodoxy. And so, if one is to understand it, one must start there. As the name implies, the orthodoxy holds the Mother Crystal sacred. And they do not take kindly to heathens plundering the objects of their worship for the means to fill wash tubs and light lamps with frivolous feats of magic. Indeed, the faithful consider ether a sinful thing, a poison no less. And to them, a dominant is an instrument of evil, albeit one they have proven only too happy to turn against their enemies. Some 80 years ago in Northern Storm, Drake's eye collapsed. Soon after, in pursuit of Aether and with the Blight at their backs, the Northern Territories descended upon the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. And when the Shields of the Flame marched north to meet them, the Iron Kingdom spied an opportunity. A few short days later, the Crusaders landed on the island of Mount Drastanus, home of Drake's breath, and plucked it from the Duchy's grasp. Rosaria tried to reclaim it, of course, but to no avail. I doubt more than a handful of duchy men have set foot on its shores in your lifetime. Nor are they like to again, under the Empire's stewardship. Meaning the Iron Blood will keep their island. And with it, the foothold they need to march on mainland soil when next they spy an opportunity. Well... The Mother Crystal is both the object of the Iron Blood's worship and their gateway to the continent, making Drustinus the holiest of holy grounds, from which the Orthodox Crusade shall one day sail forth to claim the remaining Mother Crystals, or die trying. My father and my grandfather both traded blows with the Iron Blood for control of Drek's breath. Had things unfolded differently at Phoenix Gate, we would have sent our entire fleet against them. But instead, they sent their fleet against Rosaria. Sacked the capital. Killed the men. And captured the women, including Jill. I'd say oh. you'd be forgiven for wanting it's a little Jill. revenge, Clive. That's her name. Jill. <laughs> Literally My could not remember. Is to destroy the Mother Crystal. Then... Thank you all the same. Not much else to do here. Not Let's much else to do here. here. Maybe I'll come back. You ready? I think so. 
Jill. When you told me you had to come to terms with your past, you weren't talking about destroying Drake's breath, were you? What? No. I spoke of Imran, the leader of the Crystalline Orthodox, the man who made me do all those unspeakable things. I'm going to kill him. Oh. It's what I need to do to put the past behind me. <laughs> what I need. Oh, okay. To move forward. That's fine. That works. And I know that I can do it. If you're there beside me. Yeah. Always. I'm gonna put in the work. No worries. I'll be beside you too. We'll bring down the Mother Crystal together. All while Sid looks on. We'll make him proud. Mm. Dang. That's really crazy what they did to my guy Sid.